Red Bay is a fishing village and former site of several Basque whaling stations on the southern coast of Labrador in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Between 1530 and the early 17th century, Red Bay was a major Basque whaling area. The site is home to three Basque whaling galleons and four small chalupas used in the capture of whales. The discovery of these vessels makes Red Bay one of the most precious underwater archaeological sites in the Americas. Since June 2013 it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Red Bay is a natural harbor residing in the bay that gives it its name, both names in reference to the red granite cliffs of the region. Because of the sheltered harbor it was used during World War II as a mooring site for naval vessels. In the bay are Penny Island and Saddle Island, which were used by the Basques for their whaling operations. The location of the sunken vessel San Juan is near Saddle Island. Between 1550 and the early 17th century, Red Bay, known as Valley Baya, was a center for Basque whaling operations. Sailors from southern France and northern Spain sent 15 whale ships and 600 men a season to the remote outpost on the Strait of Belle Isle to try to catch the right whale and bohev whales that populated the waters there, according to Memorial University of Newfoundland. In 1565, a ship, believed to be San Juan, sank in the waters off Red Bay during a storm. Other, smaller vessels, such as chalupas, have also been recovered from the waters. Another galleon was found 25-35 feet below water in 2004. It was the fourth transoceanic ship to have been found in the area. A cemetery on nearby Saddle Island holds the remains of 140 whalers. Many of the people buried there are thought to have died from drowning on exposure. Historians believe that a decline in whale stocks eventually led to the abandonment of the whaling stations in Red Bay. Today, an interpretive center in Red Bay explains the history to visitors. Red Bay has been designated a National Historic Site of Canada since 1979, and since 2013 it is one of Canada's UNESCO World Heritage Sites.